So, uh, hi everyone. Um, I'm doing my fourth or fifth part of my lambing. Lambing videos now, I can't remember which one. Um, I'm sorry about the quality of the last video. I had something over the lens and it was wiped it off at the end of the end of the video. But, and the video ran out of room out on, on my SD card again, so that's why it cut off so quick. Um, but it's been, what, what are we today? We are March the 13th, 14th, something like that. I've got four U's left. So the pens are looking pretty empty at the moment. We've had a few more through the lambing pens and that. That one's got a funny bar to it. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot, a lot of little lambies now. Um, this one here, that one's her name's Belle, and she's had her lamb. We weren't, we didn't think she was going to have a lamb, um, but she did, which is that little white one there. But she sort of rejected it. Um, it was her first lamb, and then she was it was pretty hard on her, and in the end she rejected the lamb. Now the lamb's in the bucket of water. Come on, get out. Um, I've still got them three that I'm feeding, but they're now on one of those big buckets. I've stuck them on that there. Sort of got the idea of it, but not entirely. Um, so, they're getting the hang of it. I ain't drunk the milk out from last time. So I still not got the hang of it well. And this lot gonna knock it over if I've had it this time. Okay. Ooh. So I'll just empty this out. These two are going to get covered in milk. We need to clean it out. I'll clean it out later on. Um, oh, you stupid lamb. Just stuck its head in it. Stuck the head in it. That's, that's all the milk out of it. There's a little bit in the bottom, but that's from this morning, so. back in. No, they're sucking on it even though there's no milk in there. Then I go and put the milk in. Oh. And I bet they won't drink from it. There we go. That's the milk in there. Oh! That one just had a jump. So yeah, the, this one's feeding alright off of it, but this one's still prefers to have a cuddle rather than a feed of milk so usually I can stick them on here and then quietly sneak away and they'll stay on but this morning they didn't this one's fine it's this one that's a pain come on stick your head on there so I'm doing this will probably be one of the last videos of my lambing probably in the next next video might even be me put them out onto grass so we'll see I might put, might put half out onto grass now. Oh, maybe this weekend or something. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, like this one, don't like to stay on the bucket. So, I have to sort of hold its head on there. And stop it from coming off. But We've got one with a slight problem. We think it's forest disease. Are you going to stay on there? No. Nope. You are a pain. You are a pain, little one. Oh. They drink it fairly quick, but these teats are a bit different to the ones they're used to, so they're not they're not great fans of these ones. But the other buckets are all loads and loads of money, so these are the cheapest ones, but they tend to break the plastics if you have them at you stupid little lamb usually I can leave them they'll go, come back to it and feed off of it they get milk off their mum anyway so it's not a big issue it's just to keep them topped up but heck, I'll leave them to it and if come up, yep one of them's came off already you can go back on it if she wants to and then we've got these three 
throttle cleaning. This one is from that you over in the crash. She, oh, that's funny noise. Um, she sort of, she was a friend of ours. She, he had a pet, a couple of pet yous, a uh, pet you and a teaser, and um, one of them, the you was a um, Texel. So this one's came out a bit differently, if you can see. It's a friendly little thing. Um, but it was lucky because this ewe lambed 20 minutes after her. So what I did was one popped out and I had a feel up and I couldn't feel another one. So what I did was I stuck all the juices on this little lamb. So she thought it was her lamb and she's accepted it. I put her back in the pen and now another one popped. So now she's got three on her. And she's not producing a huge amount of milk. So I'm still having to bottle feed this one. So it's a bit of a pain, but it's better than it could be. So, um, but they are feeding off of her, and she is giving them some milk, but it's just not quite enough. So, just giving her a bit extra. We have got another lamb, which has got a bit of a problem. Is oh, we think it's got forest disease. Um, I noticed it last night, but it was a bit late to do anything about it. So this morning I took it into the house and showed my mum and she said yeah it's got forest disease and we have this special cream that we've done, we gave it to a cow before but we hadn't done it to a lamb and um, it cleared up the cow's forest disease in, for, in one guy, in one dose but it's like a cream in like a little syringe type thing and um, and um, Come on, why don't I? And um, squirt it in its eye and make it blink its eye a couple Oh, sorry, little one. And make it blink its eye a couple of times and it sort of works, its, works itself. Um, so in 48 hours, if it hasn't healed up, do a little bit more, put a little bit more of the syringe in and keep going. Um, yeah, these three get bottle fed, and then you've got the three, well, one of them decided don't come up to you anymore, so it's getting milk from somewhere else. So I'm really just bucket feeding two, but these three will eventually go onto the bucket, I would have thought. Um, but they're not done too bad, because last year I think at one point I was feeding about seven lambs, all with bottles, and it was a pain in the ass. so this year's not has been as bad. Um, but it's been a lot quicker this year as well, which is a bit of a strange thing because last year we had 18 ewes and this year we've got um, we've got 32 ewes. So and last year it took seven last year it took seven weeks for them all to lamb from the first to the last, and I think it is just under a month now we've been lambing with this lot and we've only got four left so none of them look like they're going to go any time to, like today or tomorrow or anything but and there is one that hasn't even got a bag on her so I don't even know if she is a lamb um, but I should think the first 15 of them I'll put out soon the first 15 that lambed I'll put out soon out onto the field because it's nice weather now it's nice and sunny and everything so I'll try and film that if I get a chance. The only thing is that I've got to think about is I've got the cattle trailer in here, so that's going to be interesting because I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might, I should be able to get it out. I'll try, try to. Um, but yeah, um, we just started doing spraying and fertilizer spreading now. Um, Steve, Steve's up at the field at Sutton doing that now and spraying and everything and um, oh it looks like my battery's going to die any minute so I'm going to have to finish up in a second um, so yeah they're up there I was going to do a video of me greasing up the power harrow because we're starting to do our spring crops now so I'm going to try and do a video of that me greasing up the power harrow if I can there's enough battery and then um, 
Yeah, so I'll try and I'll be doing one or two more lambing videos or sheep videos. We're putting them out and that, and maybe another one of bottle feeding and lambing and that. Um, thank you for all the comments and that I've been getting, and that I've been getting a lot more comments on these videos now. And um, I know I'm not, I'm still get, I'm getting a few views on these, but I think the machinery will do better with views. But there is a lot of people watching it and that and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll, I get if the battery don't run out, I'll try and show you that lamb with a forest disease. But I don't know if the battery's going to last that long. Oh, what are you, what's up again, mate? Yeah, I'll just feed this last little one, even though he was just feeding. Um, but yeah, it's surprising how quickly 10 minutes goes. It's already a 10 minute video. And don't feel like that, it only feels like five minutes. But we're getting there, we haven't had many die this year. We've done very well this year. I think out of all of them, we've had six die. Like, just come out dead or died of something. Like, one had fits, was having fits and was died in the night. Um, there was one that was just small, small, and one that we found in the pen dead and don't know why but we're done well to only have six so far I think last year we had quite a few more die in the pens and then we did have a couple die out in the field we don't know why uh, well one of them was when I was on holiday so I never found out why it died um, it's, like that. it's like this lot are all full so that's that that's all this lot fed they say they're still hungry, but then they put the bottle in their mouth and then don't want to feed. So I'll just see if I can find that lamb with a forest disease to show you. It don't look too nice because we put the cream in their eyes, but I don't know if it's her or him, I can't remember now. Is this him? Yeah, this is him. But we thought it was just had turned in eyelids. But that's the cream that we put in it. Sort of all sort of seeped in there. But on this side, it's sort of gone cloudy. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, he's definitely seeing it a bit better. You probably don't want me to hold him because last time I held him, he was having stuff squirted in his eye. But if you can... No, I don't want to. He's looking better already, though. He's looking a lot better already. I only did that this morning, and it's now about 12 o'clock, and he's looking a lot better. But... They're all getting there now. I've just bedded them down this morning because we had a lot of rain over the weekend and it made it all mucky. Um, but yeah, they're definitely getting there now. We're definitely seeing the end of it now. But that's a tiny little thing. But I don't know why it's so small. It was only a twin. Tiny little thing. But it's been born now three or four days and it's that big. So I don't know what's up with that one. Um, but yeah, that's it, so I'll probably do another couple of lambing videos and definitely put them out onto grass because it's nice to see the little lambs all jumping about and that. Uh, oh, let's get jugs. And um, yeah, it's getting there with the lambing. Four are left now. And, but yeah. Thank you for all the likes and views and comments and that. And I'll see you again soon. See ya.